I've returned back to Audsall today, the scene of an entomological mystery, because just over a week or so ago, I found some eggs, some unknown eggs, on prickly lettuce, which adorns the length of this fence. Well, there's been quite a lot of development. Those eggs have hatched, but the mystery of the Audsall eggs still remains. Right, I've just found another couple of egg batches on here. As you remember, I took a couple of such egg batches home with me, and the first of those started to hatch out on the 27th of August. Now, prior to hatching, the eggs are quite an orangey reddish colour, but as they get nearer to the point of hatching, they sort of go matte and develop a brownish tone. The emerging nymphs are red which is typical of pretty much most myriad and ropalid type bug nymphs. It's a quite similar theme that runs throughout most Hemiptera, I'm afraid. So it offered no clue, of course, and not surprisingly. But by the 30th of July, growth was starting to prove to be swift. And I noticed that some nymphs had already molted to second instar now i'll put photos in as i talk about each instar there's a couple of nymphs that were slightly more advanced than some of the others and i don't know why but they've proved to be quite easy to keep i didn't know how really to keep them i had no experience of rearing any hemipterous bugs at all or the nymphs but quite a change by the second instar and then by the 1st of September, even more of a change, and I noticed that they were now in third install, at least some had gone into third install, and yet another rather dramatic change, and of course slightly larger, although they're still no more than three millimetres long at this point. And then the most recent update was from this morning, and they're now fourth install. This is the 4th of September today. And there's quite a difference now by the looks of the one that i'll show you on this photo it's probably either got one more instar to go or it's going to be adult and although i've done quite a lot of trawling on the internet and i know one or two other people have as well i must admit i'm still no nearer decided on species and so probably nearly a fortnight on now from when I collected the eggs from along this very fence line I'm still no nearer solving the mystery and quite frankly although I could continue to trawl the internet and look to try and find a match to these latest pictures of the nymphs I'm enjoying the mystery of it all and I find it very pleasing especially to go through this process I'm say rearing bugs it's something I've not done before, so it's quite fortunate that it's worked out all right and proving very easy and there's no real sort of care to them at all. Just place them in a container, put some of the correct food plant in and you're off. Just replace that food plant every few days. So in terms of species, I'm still none the wiser. My initial thought was that these were the eggs and nymphs of Coriza's highest sky ami. Then I went off that idea. I don't know why. I don't think they are now. At one time, I thought that maybe it was another Ropalian bug, a bug with a nice short name of Stigtopleurus punctata nuversus, or words to that effect. I don't think it's that either. I found the nymphs, or late in star nymphs of that. This isn't it. All the way along I've been presuming that these are a paleid books. I'm not so sure they are. 
I wouldn't be surprised now to see them turn out to be a myriad bug. Though I still can't find a match. So it's still very much a mystery. So, a part three seems on the cards.